Hello and welcome to Quinn's Tech Corner. Another video, another corner. <laughs> Today we're going to be having another look at Mac OS 9, but more specifically, Microsoft Office on Mac OS 9. We're going to launch the three major applications, Word, PowerPoint and Excel, as if we were doing some real work. And we're going to answer the question, is it worse than we remember? The version we're using is Office 2001 for Mac. We're also going to find out if Apple's equivalent offering at the time, Appleworks, is any better. So join me on the Mac OS 9 desktop as we fumble our way through, and we'll also be briefly comparing to the modern day office as well. Today I'll be starting the virtual machine with UTM, which is a GUI for QEMU. I discovered this from fellow YouTuber Greg from the Definitive Mac Pro Upgrade Guide. I've linked his video in the description below if you want to check that out. We can press the play button to start it. I'll just bring that up to full screen. And here we are on the desktop of Mac OS 9. I'm just going to launch Word and see how we go. That launched super fast. I don't know if that's how fast it would actually launch, but the M1 Macs have super fast SSDs, so that probably has a lot to do with it. These windows actually tend to come up on modern Office with templates, letters, envelopes, there's a cover letter there, home maintenance checklist, vehicle details. I'm going to go into vehicle details. Looks like we've also got a Mac version of Clippy down here, which is a cute little classic Macintosh with feet. If I click on him, yes, I can search a question. How to change font. Set the default font. How does it help me? Oh, cool. It brings up an entire help pane. So everything looks real small on the page here. So I guess I'll just go up to here and page width. That's a little bit better. Let's fill out my car, shall we? For any of you car guys, we've got carburetor or fuel injection. <laughs> that shows the age of this application. Can we do command A in here, maybe? Yes, we can. So I've selected everything. Maybe I'll try and change the font. Oh, we've got the floating window, formatting palette. Here we go. In the newer versions of Microsoft Office, all this formatting stuff comes up with the ribbon at the top. So you've got all the different tabs along the top and formatting, I guess, is one of those. But here we've just got the floating window. Font name, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? <laughs> I started this video thinking that I would absolutely hate using this, but it's actually very, very usable. Someone left a comment on one of my previous videos saying that they had picked up an iMac G3 and they would potentially be using it for a display distraction free writing environment and I can definitely see how that would be a good idea. What I might do is just clear out of that don't save. This would be a good test to see if notation systems and automatic content pages exist. I know that's something you can do in modern versions. Cross-reference indexing tables, that might do it. Okay, and we've got it. There's a little table of contents. For those of you who have used preview, you'll know that you can get a nice little sidebar with all of the pages in order, and that's what I'm trying to get to here. Surely would be in view, wouldn't it? But there we go. That's what I was looking for. It's not as visual as what's in preview on the Mac, but that is exactly what I was looking for. So that's an automatically generated contents page based on my headers. So it looks very dated, but you can do normal things. And I guess it could be feasibly used to do real work. Say if you had a classic Mac that you really wanted to use. I guess the main difference is here. Visually, it's a little bit more cluttered. You might have to do a bit of looking around, but if you're familiar with modern Microsoft Word, you shouldn't have a problem here. And this little Macintosh guy, I can't decide if he's cute or cursed. For the PowerPoint, I did intend to do something a bit more serious, but I couldn't help myself. I'll save you the pain of me reading this to you, but I actually did not have any problems at all making this. Because of this version's simplicity, I actually had a better experience making this PowerPoint than I would have in the modern app. And we've got all that lovely clip art there. So again, we've got these floating formatting palettes here and it's all a little bit clunky, but everything you need really is there. So again, if you've got experience with modern PowerPoint, this shouldn't give you any issues. One thing I've not tried is word art. Look at this. Who, who remembers word art? This is some rainbow word art. Check that out. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave that there. Command S to save. So again, the main thing I'm noticing is all of the controls and everything you would interact with to make your document, they're all scattered all over the place. So you've got all of the menus up here. Then you've got this little bar here, which I guess is file operations. But then we've also got a few miscellaneous things like insert table, insert chart, clip art, new slide. And then we've got all of the shapes and text things over here but then formatting in this floating window again. All right, quitting out of there and opening Excel. Monthly home budget. Ah oh, yes, stocks and bonds, $1 million. All the calculation fields are working here and it's the exact same as PowerPoint and Word. It's just a little bit clunky, but so far this suite of apps is pretty much how I remember it. Now let's have a brief look at AppleWorks. Okay, so here on Macintosh repository, we've got AppleWorks 6, which looks pretty similar. When I've got a little sit files folder now. AppleWorks 6.sit, save. 
Okay, so we now have the folder extracted. Mac OS X, is that it? Is this a toast file? Dot toast? Oh, it's too long. Okay, let's see. We'll just delete some version numbers and see if that was supposed to be a toast file, shall we? I'll go into the hard drive, go into toast, utilities, mount disk image. Hope this is gonna work. <laughs> Dot toast, okay, open. There we go, Appleworks Mac Toast. I knew it, okay. So the file name was too long and it had cut off the file extension, which is .toast. This is also from 2001, so it'll be interesting to see if this is any better. Ah, oh, the more I use this, the more I really want a Mac that actually runs Mac OS 9 on the bare metal. Ooh, drawing, painting. That's new. Ooh, the spray can, my favorite. <laughs> oh, this is so primitive, but I love it. Okay, enough of that. So far, it looks a lot more simplistic than Microsoft Office, and it's also a bit tidier. So we've got the font size up here. So far, it seems a bit nicer to use, just on first glance. It's similar with the software that all of the controls are a bit scattered. I just think that in Apple Works, they're slightly more easy to access. It looks like the help articles here are pretty good. Almost the same as Microsoft Office, I guess. So I can't quite figure out if you can get a side down the left hand side maybe you can maybe you can't so let's come out there and try a presentation why not so we've got the slide controls here this is a bit more visual than powerpoint which is nice oh so is this our slide here it comes blank is there any templates family slideshow this is better than powerpoint i reckon <laughs> lovely all right i guess that's it for today i just wanted to have a look at these software titles from 2001 i love exploring this old software and you can't possibly look at everything in one video but it gives you at least a taster of what things were like back in 2001 and i'm sure most of you will remember using these so let me know what office suite did you guys use back in the day was it for work was it for school let me know in the comments down below so final thoughts i guess probably not worse than we remember these programs are very dated and there have been huge huge advancements in the user interface and also different features you probably be expecting me to talk about the cloud-based stuff that microsoft are doing at the moment but i really don't care for that kind of stuff very much as for what suite of apps is better i would lean towards apple works i think it's laid out a bit nicer but that's down to personal preference all right, that's it. Thanks for watching another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this will be my last video of the year. I just want to thank you guys for all of the recent support. It's been fantastic. I'm also having a lot of fun making these videos. So in the new year, there'll be plenty more to come and they'll be to a higher standard, I hope. So that's all for now. Bye, guys.